Ladies and gentlemen, today we'll be learning introduction for physics. Um, this is kinematics. Tutorial sheet. Let just read to you. And if you have any other questions, you can send them in picture form. 0978597757. What's in picture form? So now, um, you forgive my voice, I have a bad cold in the flu, but then we'll continue. So I'm going to go to question two. So it says an attacker at a base of a castle wall, 3.65 meters, 3.65 meters high, throws a rock straight up with a speed of 7.4 meters per second at a height of 1.5 meters above the ground. Then question A, will the rock reach the top of the wall? So I have question two. So let's, let's make the scenario. So we have an attacker. So we have faced the wall. Our wall is 3.65. And then um, we have been told that the attacker is at a distance. Let's assume it's there. 1.55 meters <clears throat> and so um, we are being told to say the attack is standing here this is our attacker and then he throws a rock straight up straight up, not in projectile straight up <clears throat> and with an initial velocity of 7.4 so then we have our we have our everything set up and the only thing remaining is our data is here we have our we have our y our y to be 3.65 we have our y not to be equal to 1.55 meters then we have our v not be equal to 7.40 meters per second. So now, um, what we've been told in question one is, will the rock reach the top of the wall? So this guy throws the rock, does this initial distance. So now we're being told, will it reach the top of the wall? So the wall is there, and the guy is here, then he throws the rock straight up. So then here, what we have to know is, when the rock will actually stop, will the rock stop when it's 3.65 meters. So when the rock stops, its velocity will be zero. So for question A, just for question A, the velocity final is going to be equal to zero. And we're going to look at our equations, which one has the uh, things that we have. So we have the first one to be V is equal to V naught plus G T. The second one, V squared is equal to V naught squared plus 2g change in y and then the last one is y is equal to y naught plus v naught t plus 1 over 2g t squared so now what we have here um, we don't have a time quite right and so we cannot use these two we cannot use this one and this one and then what we are looking for is the final by like the final height. And then here the change in y, we know change in y is equal to y minus y naught. And then we have our we have our y naught when we're looking for our y. So in this equation holds because we have the final, we have got the initial, and then we have got gravity and then we take our positive, our gravity is going to be equal to negative nine point eight. So now we take this equation V squared is equal to um first of all this this velocity the final one is zero so you can rub this out and put our zero then v naught v naught squared plus we're going to put a minus here because um the gravity we're taking down we're taking up as positive g our change in y is y minus y naught so now we're going to make our 
why the subject of formula and solve it. But of course, you can plug in the values and find it at the end, but I have to make it the subject of the formula. So we take a on this side, becomes negative. This side is also negative. You can divide both sides by negative one, then the negatives are going to disappear. Or initially, you can take this one, this side, and become positive. All the same. Then you are going to divide both sides by 2g. <coughs> so this 2g is going to cancel with this one. And I think, I think I can wrap that. And then um, y0 is going to go this side. Um, I think I can be using the same one. So now y0 will go the other side and become positive is equal to y. And so now we've wrote, we've written a symbolic answer. So a symbolic answer is this one. You can write symbolic answer. And then when we plug in the values, definitely we are going to find our y. So we are saying, um, I think let me use the other. y is equal to v squared, v squared over 2g plus y not. So we have our y, and our v squared, our v naught, this has been v naught all the way, yeah, it is actually v naught. Our v naught is 7.4 squared over 2, our gravity is 9.8, plus our y naught, our y naught is 1.5. So, now y. When we use the calculator, v plus v seven point four squared divided by two divided by two times nine point eight plus one point five five. So then our y is four point three four. So now. Um, this was our initial diagram, and there was our guy, and he threw a rock. Then we are finding that this rock, it will go up, and then it will stop at this point. When the velocity is zero, to stop at this point is going to be 3, 4.34. 4. Then at this point, you know definitely it's higher than 3.65. So then this rock will actually reach this side, you will exceed it. So then, for question A, we found, then here you can conclude, you can write it in conclusion to say, because the y not, because the height when v is zero is more than 3.65, this ball will actually exceed the wall. And then we go to B. B says, if so, what's the rock speed at the top? And, and if not, what's the in, what's initial speed must the rock have to reach the top? So as we know that this, this ball actually reached the top. So now, if so, what's the rock speed? So now I've been told to say here, what is the speed of the rock? So it means having our Wi-Fi not being equal to this one because we want to find the velocity of the rock right here. Right here. It's not where it stops, it stops here, but then here at 3.65, it's still going. But then what is its velocity? So now we're going to look at our initial equations. And since I've been telling you about the equations, I think now you know which equation to actually use. So now here we are looking for our here we are looking for our final velocity. Here we are looking for our final velocity. And then we don't have our time. So we must look for an equation that doesn't actually have time, which is v squared is equal to v not squared plus two g change y. Now, we have our change in y. What we are looking for is our um, final velocity. So you can say v, when you take the square root of both sides, is equal to the square root of v naught squared plus 2g y minus y naught. v now is equal to 7.4 squared plus 2 now we're going to put the minus because we're taking up as positive. Minus um, 
Then here our Wi-Fi, no? We already found it. 3.65. Then our Y initial is going to be this one. So now velocity. When you plug in the values on the computer, seven. 7.4 squared minus 2 times 9.8 the square root of 3.65 minus 1.55 so I find our answer to be 13.6 so the square root of 13.6 so when you find the square root Square root of 13.6 is going to be 3.6879. So, in round this off, is going to be 3.69 meters per second. And that's going to be our final in velocity. Yeah. <coughs> and so, um, that's all for this one. We can go to question. To question C, find the change in the speed of the rock thrown straight up from the top of the wall at an initial speed of 7.4 meters per second, moving between the same two spots. So now here, the rock is thrown straight down, not straight up, but straight down. So this person is here, throws the rock straight down, and now we're trying to find the change. So now we're trying to find the change in the speed. So now we have our initial velocity to be the same, then we are trying to find now final velocity. So when we use the same equations, we use the same equations, squared is equal to V naught squared plus 2, let's just put the minus which is the end. <coughs> so now um, what we are trying to find is our velocity final, so we do the same thing, square root of V naught squared minus this there. <coughs> so now, um, we're plugging the values, eh? So now our initial velocity is this one, but then it's being thrown down. So if we take down as positive, this, one, this guy will be negative here. Negative. Um, it's going to be negative. 7.4 squared minus <coughs> we have our 2 9.8 and I can rub this one and uh, y y final will be this point our y initial will be this one why is like this? Because it's starting from 3.65 and then going to starting from 3.65 going to 1.55. So the velocity when you compute it in um, negative 7.4 squared minus 2 square root of 9.8. One point five five minus three point six five. We're going to find the answer being equal to square root nineteen five point nine two. And then when you take the square root of the answer, we're going to be equal to nine point seven nine. Um, just in there meters per second. So now this is our velocity and because this is a square root, this can be plus or minus. But then because it's going down, we're going to take this one as a negative. So this is the velocity is negative. But then we find our change. We're going to say our change in velocity is going to be equal to this 9.79 minus um our initial velocity which was seven point four. So then our change in velocity is going to be nine point seven nine minus seven point four. 
3.02.39 meters per second. You never forget the units. So this is our change in velocity. Then the last question is just an explanation. Does the change in speed of the downward moving rock agree with the magnitude of the speed of the change in the rock moving up and between the same elevations? Explain physically why. Why not? This actually makes sense because um, the the rock when going up it actually spends more time than it does when the when it's going down. So that's why there is a difference in the change in velocities because when you compute this one, you're going to find a different answer from this one. So that's all for question two. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and send your questions to the number zero nine seven eight nine five nine seven zero let me write again zero nine seven eight nine five seven nine seven five so put it down so that you can so that you can hit